Hey, what's up guys? So we're gonna be casting this game between Mixelis here in the blue at 12-13 versus Aikazuki here in the red at 14-63. Interesting to see a Dark World player play Charge Light Brigade. And on top of that, yeah, I, I don't know if he's playing Dark World or Light Sworn with Dark World. I don't know. I, I like when people mix decks. I like to see how it plays out. I mean, I'm sure it's not nearly as good as Wind Up, Rabbit, Chaos, Dragon, uh, and Zekdors, but I mean, technically, Dark Worlds have a lot of draw power, so it could combo with Light Swarm relatively well. I don't know, though. Uh, we'll have to see how that plays out for a player in the uh, blue. I mean, I mean, it lets him, like, discard. He didn't technically go minus one, though. He's just going all in, so, like, it looks like it's a Light Swarm Dark World build, and never really seen that. Interesting to see Drag now. I didn't really expect that, so we see a special summon of Silva, Warlord of the Dark World. And he's gonna bounce that card back. And, oh, did he mill Graffa already? Ooh, that was pretty good. Okay. So milling Graffa, super plus. Gonna see a Monster Reborn. Let's see what he goes for. He's gonna go for a Lumina. And this is still first turn. And so you can Lumina Garoth, which is kind of like one of the, their plays. And he's gonna disc... Ooh! But he does not get the effect of this card. Because it was discarded as a cost. And he, yeah, he, and he he reborn, so he actually hasn't summoned. Well, this was his normal summon. It was a set, and two more for Garoth. Ooh, he moved a Lila, and a Wolf. He special summons Wolf and draws two of that. This guy, <laughs> so good. Uh, he really needs Dark Hole. Our player in the red needs Dark Hole so bad. He's playing E Heroes, so he really, really needs Dark Worlds. I'm sorry, Dark Hole. <laughs> he doesn't need Dark Worlds unless he's playing Dark World E Heroes. <laughs> Which would be awesome to see, uh, kind of essentially like a, a mere match of teching Dark Worlds now. Um, he needs Dark Hole. That's what it comes down to. I mean, <laughs> our player in the blue did tactically mill so well. I love watching these like mashups of two decks combined. But when you do three, it becomes crazy. Um, let's see what our player in the. Uh, oh, he's just gonna go for that. The duality. Uh, he needs Dark Hole. No, he got Reborn. That's a pretty good card, but nothing really to Reborn. Hero Blast, which isn't a bad card. Uh, he's gonna go for the Hero Blast, okay. And he probably has an alias that he can summon and he can just run over a monster. Oh, he's gonna go for Stratos, okay. And he asks if the effect is okay. I'm sure the effect's okay. There's no room, probably, to run Valor in a deck where you're playing so much draw power plus all the lights one. I'm sure he's playing Judgment Dragon. Um, yeah, those mills were insane. Um, I would, I would attack Lumina, because if you attack anything else, and if you wanted to drop Lance, I guess, because everything is stronger than him already. But um, yeah, you need to get rid of Lumina because Lumina will bring back anything anyways. Um, he needs like even Mirror Force wouldn't really be that great because he got all his cards out free. He's sending everything, so I don't blame him for that because he's in a bad spot already. Our player in the blue just got so many pluses for free, and. Flips and I'd target a back row. I mean, what is Stratos with 1800 points of damage? I'm gonna do he hits one. Hopefully, it'll be that hero blast that was set as a bluff. Let's see. Um, he's saying, hmm, maybe he wants to uh, chain a compulse because compulse is something that heroes do like to run. Um, maybe he wants to solemn the Raiko. That could be an option or solemn judgment, but I don't think it's. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna affect Valor. And I don't think that's a bad play because. Uh, you know, if he had Judgment Dragon, he loses pretty much anyways. Um, but yeah, he can right, he can Valor the Raikou uh, to stop the mill as well. Uh, I'm just going to go for the attack. I mean, if he's in Mirror Force, though, that will, I'd say, put our player back. Oh, we see Super Poly activated. He's going to discard an alias. And I guess he can go with Graffa because there is that Dark E hero. Um, let's see what he goes for. I don't, I, w I don't know if I would have Valor that. I would have immediately just went for the Super Poly. Uh, I mean, he technically still has Valor. He needs to get rid of that card. That's the problematic card. Um, then he can go for uh, the uh, Dark E Hero, and it gains 100 attack for each Elemental Hero monster in your graveyard. So I believe there's only one, so it'd be 2600 attack. And we see an overlay for most likely, my guess is going to be Utopia. Um, or Symphony Jin would be also be a great card because you can book a moon. Okay. I'm not going to be something to And we see a bottom is activated. Okay, so our E Hero player, it looks like he's going to be coming back from that. And I would say our player in blue definitely had a huge advantage on him. Um, and we see a main phase two. Go for Graf. <laughs> oh, we see a Hero Blast activated. Um, and we see an alias. Ooh, that's pretty good. Okay. That was good. Good play. I, I'm really happy for our player in the red. He's playing really well. He's doing everything perfect. I'd say, ooh. 
And unfortunately, a main phase two drop right. This player in the blue totally, totally drew everything he had. He literally had everything. I feel bad. A player in the red was so close to coming back from that, but as you guys can see, you can play super reckless in Lightning Storm. It doesn't matter, because you can just take advantage over <laughs> over it really fast. Um, I mean, he milled Wolf. He was able to get a Utopia. We see a Miracle Fusion activated, though. And uh, he can go for a Great Tornado if he wishes to. Um, he says, okay, Light Swarm generally doesn't have too good of a back row. Um, unless he's playing Bottomless. And then our player in the blue is super stacking him because Light Swarm generally doesn't run traps, especially if you're playing like um, a variant with Dark Worlds where you you have to like sacrifice a lot of other cards that you normally would want to perhaps main deck like Solemn Warnings. Um, so a player is going to activate the card of Great Tornado to half everything. And he'll now be able to attack. And he needs to go all in. I mean, what is Alias going to do to him? Uh, I mean, if our player in the blue has another Judgment Dragon, he's got another Judgment Dragon. What are you going to do about it? So, JD became uh, 1500. And, uh, okay. And phase 2 going to set one. Oh, come on, my e hero player. I hope you take this game because you definitely deserve it. You played everything so well. And there's that beckoning light. That card's way too good. Please have a Solemn Judgment. Or maybe a bottomless, because I, I mean, obviously, our player in the uh, blue is going to add Judgment Dragon, so he's going to discard his whole hand, and um, he's going to add most likely double Judgment Dragon, and I, I don't know if he had Lila already. Um, if he had Lila, I'd summon Lila, pop that, and then go for Judgment Dragon because it's Judgment Dragon. Uh, but I mean, our our hero player could still technically top deck another Miracle Fusion and make another um, Great Tornado and attack. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. If I was a Lightstorm player, I would probably only summon one JD. Uh, of course, Lila, yeah. Like I said, of course he's gonna add Lila if he had one. Lila, summon Pop. Um, let me see a bottomless, there's no reason why he wouldn't want a bottomless. And Judgment Dragon is just gonna come and ruin everyone's day. Let's see if he goes for two. Well, I mean, he'll have to blow up the field first. Um, I think I would just summon one. That's what I would do. Okay, he's gonna go all in, he's gonna take 6,000. Because if you think about it, uh, he can't gain from this turn anyways, unless he just is hoping to mill Necro Gardener, for what reason, I'm not sure. Um, our player in the, uh, red, if he only had, uh, a Water in the grave, he can get absolute zero, but, uh, Lightsworn is just super sacking him so hard. Well, Lightsworn Dark Worlds! I give this guy props, because he's mixing decks together, and I think that's awesome. Wow, maybe he can, uh, <laughs> draw double Battle Faders and deck him out. Um, what is it? It has to be something that can do something. Is it Reborn? I think he's got Reborn, but I don't think Reborn's going to do too good. I mean, even getting back Graph, I won't do anything. Uh, that's unfortunate. Our poor E-Hero player. Um, okay, so I'm trying to think of what he could possibly do. Um, in fact, okay, he's just... Because, yeah, the most viable play would be go for Stratos. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, like, what he could really do with anything. Because you can't reborn any of the, uh, the elemental here, the fusions, but not it's like it would do any good anyways. And <laughs> he now takes damage. He's like, you can't beat me by attacking, only I can beat you. So that was a pretty interesting game. Interesting decks. <laughs> I think that was pretty cool. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Eyes White Dragon, signing out.